Hi there and welcome to this new video of the Apple Pro Tester. In this video, I am going to show you how easy it is to change the language settings for Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Encore, and Adobe Prelude. This is actually really easy. You just have to change one file. I have to close Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Encore, or Prelude. I'm gonna just close After Effects and go to the go open the Finder and go to your Applications folder. And then you have to look for, for the After Effects folder or the Encore folder or the Prelude or Premiere folder. It depends on which, which program you want to change the language. I want to change the language of After Effects. So I'll double click that one. Then I have to go to a main program. Look here. It has to say Adobe After Effects, not Adobe After Effects Render Engine. Right click on um, the main program, show package contents. Then you have that folder called contents. Double click that one. Then look for resources. Double click that one. Then you have to look for AMT languages, not for AMT, AMT languages, that one. Double click it. And inside here, you should see one file. In my case, Adobe After Effects is in German. We can see that here. Uh, it's all in German. Down here too. Okay, I opened the render engine, but everything is in German. I can prove it here. Wird, Aufräumen, um, Finden Sie Reste hier. Also hier oben auch. Uh, <laughs> up here in the menu bar, we have Ablage, Bearbeiten, Komposition, Ebene, Effekte, oh, and everything what we need for, to use after effects so everything is in german right now because the file says that uh, after effects has to open in german so when we preview this inside here we have only these two things um so the file is called d de small de for german and big d for deutschland germany and inside here is the same, it's called DE for Deutsch and DE for Deutschland. So to I have to change that. And I'm going to open this with text edit. And the only thing I have to do is to change the letters. I have to go EN for English and US for United States. Actually, when you do this the first time, the file is locked. So you have to duplicate it. I accidentally uh, deleted the file, so uh, it, it's not the original file anymore. So I can edit it. But when you do this the first time, be sure to duplicate it and to save the original file. It doesn't actually care when you delete the original file, it still works. So I'm going to save it and change. I'm going to change the file name into EN and US. So and now I'm actually done. I can go and open After Effects and you see everything is in English. You can see it up here in the menu bar, it says file and it doesn't say upload anymore. Edit, composition, uh, layer, effects, animation, and everything is in English again. Render queue, none. So it works. It's actually really easy. And you can change, you can change that into any language. That's actually really easy. You can change it into French, Spanish, Italian. Japanese, Korean. It's actually really easy to change the language. So, and well, you can, this method is, you can use it for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Encore, and Prelude. It doesn't work for any others like Edition, Flash, or Fireworks. It only works for After Effects, Encore, Premiere Pro, and Prelude. So, I hope that this video helped you. If you've got any questions, 
be free to ask me i want to answer them so this is it for today be sure to subscribe if you want to and we'll see us again next time until then bye